Hello everyone, welcome back to NB Edits. Brandon here, and I hope you guys had a wonderful time over the holidays. I know Nick and I sure did. It was great to be able to just spend some time with family and friends that we haven't seen in forever. Chow down on some good food, open up some presents. Hopefully you guys had just as good of a time as we did. Over the holiday weekend, we were able to get out on top of the hard water and we were able to do some more ice fishing. Now, of course, you guys have probably seen our last video where we did some walleye fishing. We were able to pull up some tanks onto the hard water and it was excellent night to say the least. We had a blast out there with the whole crew, had a lot of fun. And now today, I was actually able to get out myself and do some pan fishing with some family friends as well. The weather was pretty brutal, I'm not gonna lie to you. We ended up getting a ton of snow and the snow ended up kind of shutting the fish off. I wish I would have got to the lake a little bit earlier. Unfortunately, I waited till the evening hours because I was hoping that the storm was gonna be coming in a little bit later than it did. And I thought the evening bite was gonna be just fire. But uh, that was not really the case. When I first got there, the bite seemed to be really good and then it died off. So I'm gonna go ahead, overlay some clips and show you guys what it looked like on the Garmin Pan Optics. I had fish absolutely everywhere on the screen and they were just super super finicky i had the gopro rolling and i was able to hook up with some crappies nothing too huge but we did get into multiple eaters which was great my friends were also able to keep some fish as well i think i ended up with four or five keeper sized crappies and a couple perch as well so today what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be doing a catch and cook video for you guys like i said i just caught these fish a couple of hours ago just got home got everything on packed so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead fillet up the fish get all of my ingredients out and show you guys how I like to prepare my crappies and I'm gonna be using something that I have used once before on the channel if you guys have seen it you may already know what my secret ingredient is if you haven't and you're new to the channel you're gonna want to make sure to check this out some of you have probably never tried this before and it's absolutely one of my favorites so let's go into the kitchen let's get our fillets prepped get the grease warmed up, and get these babies in the frying pan. Alrighty boys, we have got our crappies all prepped and ready to go. Now, we gotta go ahead and fillet these bad boys. Once we get them filleted, I'll bring out all the other ingredients. We're gonna get the fillets all washed up. These are gonna be going real good in the grease. Yeah. Now that I've got all my fillets cut up into tiny little pieces, I'm gonna go ahead and take some eggs and just crack them up into a dish. Probably just going to go with three eggs, should be plenty. There we go. All right, now that we've got our three eggs in there, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of milk as well. And just pour that in there, kind of like you're making scrambled eggs. All right, there's a little milk in there. Go ahead and take a fork. I'm going to whisk that up real nice. Make sure we got it whisked up really good. All right, so we took some eggs, we took some milk, and now we've got it all whisked up real good. Now we just gotta get the rest of our ingredients all prepped up. The fillets are gonna go for a dunk in the milk and egg bath, and then they're gonna get put into our delicious secret ingredient. We have got some extra crispy shake and bake. Now, typically I'm actually a shore lunch guy, but I don't have any left, so I'm going to be using Shake and Bake. And then we are going to be using Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. These things are the move. They're a little bit sweet and crunchy. Just overall gives the fish a wonderful flavor. And then, of course, flour. So we're going to be going ahead, crunching up our Frosted Flakes, mixing it with some flour, Shake and Bake for a little extra crisp. I know there's folks out there that have tried this recipe before and most of the folks that have watched the first time that I did a video on this, tried it out, absolutely loved it, and they gave me some pretty good feedback. All right, first things first, I've got some Frosted Flakes put into a Ziploc bag. Reason for that is because we wanna take these and smash them down. There we go, all right, check that out guys. So, as you can tell, Felt like I had a decent amount of Frosted Flakes in there, and when you start smashing it up, turns out there's not a whole lot in there. That should be fine because I've only got a couple fish, but if you've got more than just four or five pan fish, let's say you took a whole man's limit, you're going to want a lot of Frosted Flakes. Let's just put it that way. So, we've got our Frosted Flakes inside of here. Now it's time to mix in some Shake and Bake and some flour. 
All right, let's go ahead and dump our shake and bake in there. Now we're gonna take a couple tablespoons of flour and mix that in as well. Obviously it depends on how many fish you have, but I'm gonna go ahead and say that three tablespoons is enough for what I've got. That should be pretty good. All right, take all the air out of there and I'm gonna go ahead, mix that up real, real good. All right, now that I've got the frosted flakes, shake and bake, and flour all mixed together for a coating, I'm gonna go ahead, start the frying pan up. I'm gonna be putting some olive oil into a pan, and then the fillets are gonna go into the milk and egg mixture, dunk them in the bag for the coating, put them into the grease, and it's going to be absolutely delicious. All right, let's start taking our fillets, soaking them, and dumping them right into our mixture. All right, well there you have it guys. Our pieces are all shook up in our flour mixture. They've got a real good coating on there. Now we can go ahead, take them out of the bag and slowly drop them one by one into our pan of grease. Oh yeah, boys, look at that. Starting to come out real good. Like I said, you wanna keep this on low heat just because we're working with small pieces. These little tiny pieces here, they are not going to need a lot of heat and they're not going to need a lot of time. You don't want to overdo it. Oh boy, those are looking mighty delicious. These are going to be the last of them. So as soon as these get done in the frying pan, it's time to eat up. While we were taking off the last of the fish, I was able to cut up a lemon and we've got everything onto a plate. Oh baby, that is looking pretty good. As you can tell, I got a little Chipotle Southwest here, so I'm going to go ahead, open this up, and just give it a light dash over the top, just to give it a little bit of spice. We're going to go ahead, take our lemons, sprinkle a little lemon juice onto these bad boys. I personally like lemon on my fish, absolutely love it. I don't really care what type of fish it is, I like lemon on it. So, go ahead. Give that just a light sprinkle over the top and we are good to go. Alrighty guys, we've got our fish all prepped, ready to go. We got the lemon juice on there, some spices. Oh man, this is gonna be delicious. I don't even know which piece to go with first. Let's just try this right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's real good. That is very good. So it's got, man, okay, so it's got a little sweetness to it at first with the uh, frosted flakes that we use, but that lemon juice that's mixed in there and a little bit of spice too on the back end, mm, that is freaking good. And you know they're done properly when you're scooping them out and it starts to fall apart with these little tiny pieces that I've cut. They're just gonna fall right apart. That is freaking delicious. Oh man. That is freaking good, boys. If I could, I would take this piece right here and I would just share that with you guys. Look at that. That is perfect. Perfectly golden crisp. Mmm. Very good and it does not take that much time. That's the thing that I like about these when you're pan frying them. It's not like deep frying. Even deep frying fish really doesn't take that long, but just a little bit healthier choice to me. I actually think it tastes a little bit better. It's a little bit more fresh. Obviously these fish just came out of the lake a couple of hours ago, but man, that is freaking good. Mmm. Well, there you have it, guys. That is how you use Frosted Flakes to make an absolutely superb meal when you get off the ice and you catch some fish. And I'm sure, obviously, you could do this open water whenever you want to make fish. You could probably use it for other meats besides fish, too. But tell you what, when you catch panfish through the ice, fresh, you cook them up that day, nothing better. There's literally like got to be one of my top five favorite meals for sure. Absolutely delicious. I'm going to go ahead and absolutely smack down on this meal because well to be honest I'm pretty hungry. I haven't really eaten all day. 
I've been on the hard water just grinding. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big old fat thumbs up for us. We'd really appreciate that. And if you guys have any recommendations as to how you guys do your fish when you prepare it, maybe you guys have a sneaky little trick up your sleeve that I don't know about. Again, just trying something new out. I've only done this on walleyes. I've never done it on crappies, but this was just a new way to twist it up and do something a little bit different. I'm gonna go ahead, mow down. Again, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave us some information down in the comment section of what you thought. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and also hit that notification bell. It's gonna give you an alert anytime that we post a video in the future. We're gonna be steady on the grind the next couple weeks, absolutely pounding out some content. We've got more catch and cooks coming. We've got a camping series coming. We've got tons of stuff coming right at you guys. So stay tuned for more tight lines from NB Edits.